it's mailbag time. Let's see what we've got in these packages. Right, just one of these almost indestructible packages. So I'll get into it. Oh, it's easy this one. So what do we have here? 7912 CV. Not sure what the signal that is. And 7905 CV. Negative voltage regulators. 5 volt and 12 volt negative regulators. Chili in parts you should always have in stock. Well, that was fast. Tony ordered this last week. It's an opener tool. You could never have enough spudges. So it's a JM0P12 or OP12. You've got these little covers to go in it as well. So you've got these stainless steel springy stainless steel bits here, different shapes. So you can get into small spaces with them. They're not actually sharpened, they're just a, a thin steel plate. Is this one sharpened at all? No. No, this, these are basically just plain edges, not actually sharp. But uh, that's alright. This will go on my shelf of bits to have to get into things, and this is rubberized as well. My script spudges. Also, I only ordered these about a week or so ago as well. Shipping seems to be getting better these days. That's good. A bunch of bottles. These sorts of things come in handy. I mean, I've already got some bottles, but what I actually really wanted was these nozzles, right? These rubber caps that go on these bits. That is a bit I really wanted, was this bit. Because the one that's on my flux right now is, well, broken. It's got a big split in it. So it's just like leaking out all the time. So I've been wanting to get a new one of these to replace it with. If I could find this by itself, I'd have bought a bunch of these, but I couldn't seem to find them. I don't know what story is there. I mean, you must be able to get them, surely, but I haven't been able to find them. So, there you go, that one on there, and hopefully this goes over. It does, just, it's not quite the right size, but, you know, it'll do the job. Fixed. So, yes, just a bunch of these little balls. Um, I mean, I actually use something a bit like this for my IPA, right, so I keep my IPA in this bowl. Leave a link for leases down below. I'm not sure what this thing is. I could set up most of these packages actually. It's most of the time I don't actually know what's in them. Pliers. Excellent. Lots of excessive packaging. Eddy cool, apparently. So yeah, covered in oil. Protect them so they don't get, go rusty to use them. I just needed some more electrical cutters. Some smallish ones. These look fairly beefy actually, because I've got these things which actually came off 3D printer. I've been using these for trimming off wire leads, stuff like that. You've probably seen me using in videos. And the ones I had broke, I've been using those for a couple of years. This is my backup pair, and this is, this is my backup pair. I needed to get another backup pair. And I thought, well, I better get a backup for the backup pair. So I've got backup for the backup for the pair. Hope these work alright. Let's get a piece of wire. Hmm. Yeah. Seems fine. Now I've got bits of wire leaf flung across my carpet. Yeah. This seems practically happening really because I've been ripping the adjust details off it. <laughs> now I think this is some parts I actually don't end up needing now because I ended up getting them. Yes, they are. So we have some Triax, which is the BTA 24-600BWRG, and we've got some truck drivers, I suppose, MOC3023M. So it's basically auto couplers, but they're designed for driving Triax. I've shown these in another mailbag recently. Well, probably recently. I would have recorded it recently, you know, a week or two ago, um, where I received some of these from Element 14. So. I ordered some from Element 14, I took 
forever to post so that orders some from RS. So the RS ones arrived about two weeks after I ordered them. The Element 14 ones arrived about a month after I ordered them. If you want to make that comparison. BNC connectors. Well, sockets. Five of them. Oh, these were projects I'm planning on doing. And I needed some chassis mount BNC sockets. Now I've got some. Links for these things down below. And I can't count. There's six, not five. Bonus package. This is a review item. And can you guess who it's from? Can you? Right, let's get in here. <laughs> oh, that. Lovely. It's the Keysight U1281A handheld multimeter. I'm going to be doing a review on this thing. I'll be sticking onto my calibrator and everything. So make sure you check that video out. Let's have a quick look and see what's actually in the box. Oh, calibration, sir. Oh, <laughs> let's see how good this is. Well, it's just a statement of calibration. Does it have any actual calibration values? I don't know if it does or not. Usually I don't, not as a factory calibration, you wouldn't really get that, but you never know. Okay, so it's just information there. So it's a statement of calibration, states and equipment that is used to calibrate it. Okay, calibration of your one here. Excellent. Calibration port is now provided electronically. Oh, nice. Might have to look at that. Anyway, yeah, check out the review for this thing. That'll be um, very interesting. What else have we got in here? It's like my birthday. <laughs> Camera batteries. A couple of key type probes. PVC probes that feel like nice ones. Oh, look at that. USB interface. Goes in the back there. It's got any batteries in it? Nah, they're in the bag. That's fine. Mmm, lovely. This is going to be fun. Check out the review video when that comes out very soon. Yeah, so this was given to me at no cost for the purpose of review by Keysight. It was arranged by Daniel Bogdanoff himself. Some of you may know the name. <laughs> He's on Twitter. Go and follow him. <laughs> He's also got his own YouTube channel. You should subscribe to that. So it's arranged this for me to do a review on, which is excellent. I'm thrilled about that. Another high quality meter for my collection. So don't forget to check out the links down below for any items if you're interested in them. And... Thumbs up if you like the video, subscribe if you're not already subscribed, and check out the links at the end. Bye.